Hey guys, welcome to all of you on our channel that is Achieve IAS. So friends, as you know that on our channel we are targeting the exam of civil services and for that purpose we have started multiple series on our channel that target your problems as well as mains. So in this video we will be talking about our current affair based uh, MCQ series. So in which uh, what we do we daily discuss MCQs from the uh, from the perspective of current affairs of the day. So today is 17 September. So let's start our discussion. So let's see what, what is the first question. So first question is consider the following statements related to survey of India. First it is responsible for making the geographical map of India. Uh, second it is under Ministry of Art Science. So we have to choose that which of the above statements is correct. Let me tell you friends that only first statement is correct. Uh, it is responsible for making the geographical map of India. But second is not correct. Uh, this basically national survey and mapping organization of the country and it is under the department of science and technology. And it is the oldest scientific department of the government of India. So please note it. Uh, it is the oldest scientific department. Uh, so uh, it was set up in uh, 1767 uh, and has evolved rich traditions over the years uh, so more detail you can read by pausing the video let's move on to the next question next is consider the following statements related to fundamental rights in India first the fundamental rights are absolute and sacrosanct that is not that it is not uh, subject to any amendment uh, second the constitution provides certain restriction based on which the fundamental rights can be curbed uh, by the authority so friends here there is a mistake uh, so uh, here friends let me tell you that first statement is wrong obviously uh, uh, either one, uh, one option either first can be correct or second can be correct if first is correct then certainly second will be incorrect and if uh, second is correct then first will be incorrect so yes uh, there are certain restrictions on fundamental rights uh, they are reasonable they, but these restrictions must be reasonable so second is correct so the answer is b that is second only so more detail you can read about in uh, your uh, uh, this uh, indian polity by by m lakshmi khan so that book is uh, quite comprehensive that covers your fundamental rights in a comprehensive way let's move on to the next question next is consider the following statements first anemia is a condition in which the number of red blood cells or their oxygen carrying capacity is insufficient and to, uh, to to meet physiological needs which uh, which vary by age sex altitude smoking and pregnancy status second iodine deficiency is the common cause of anemia so we have to choose that which of the above statements is correct let me tell you friends that first is correct uh, that uh, this uh, it is basically a uh, reduction in number of red blood cells so or uh, the, there is a uh, uh, their oxygen carrying capacity is insufficient so uh, answer is a uh, so basically uh, it is caused by the deficiency of uh, iron so it is a condition in which the number of red blood cells or their oxygen carrying capacity is insufficient to meet physiological physiological uh, needs of uh, biological organism so iron deficiency is the most common cause of anemia although other conditions such as uh, folate vitamin b12 and vitamin a deficiencies chronic inflammation parasitic infections and inherited disorders can all can all cause anemia so let's move on to the next question next is politically seen in news is part of which festival a onam b pongal c bihu d navratri so friends the answer is a that is onam so politically is basically part of onam so politically is a tiger dance uh, basically also known as tiger dance it is a folk art of kerala performed on the fourth day of onam festival so artists wear a uh, tiger mask paint their bodies like tigers and dance to the rhythm of traditional uh, percussion instruments such as thakil uduku and uh, chenda next is the uh, fifth uh, hem hem vijay exercise seen in news uh, is a military exercise between which two nations a india and usa b india and france c india and uk d none of the above so friends uh, uh, let me tell you friends that uh, answer is none of the above so uh, this uh, hem vijay exercise uh, uh, basically uh, uh, it, it is uh, uh, this exercise is planned by india in the northeast and will mainly test the war fighting capabilities of newly raised 17 mountain strike corps in Arunachal Pradesh. So Indian armed forces are planning to deploy their latest American weapon systems including M777 ultra light howitzers and Chinook, uh, Chinook heavy lift helicopters in the war games to be carried out in Arunachal Pradesh close to borders with China. So uh, this is answer is D. 
so let's move to the next question next is a cake khurais uh, uh, seen in news uh, uh, is located in which country a yemen b uh, sudan c saudi arabia d uh, none of the above so friends the answer is saudi arabia so recently the houthi rebels uh, of uh, yemen had carried out uh, drone attacks on two major uh, saudi aramco oil facilities in abqaq and hizrat khurais in uh, saudi arabia uh, which uh, factored uh, nearly 50% of the saudi arabia's oil producing capability so uh, this uh, oil uh, processing facility abq oil processing facility operated by saudi aramco in bukiak saudi arabia is the world's largest oil processing facility so please note this this is very important so it is the largest uh, oil processing facility so attacks have impacted saudi arabia's oil production and exports uh, and in turn the global oil market so the attack has cut output by 5.7 million uh, million barrels per day so it has uh, it is close to half of the kingdom's output daily and 5% of the global oil supply so saudi arabia is the world's top oil exporter ships more than uh, 7 million bar barrels of oil to global destinations every day so the output cut is expected to send oil prices up by 3 to 5 dollar per barrel next is consider the following statements related to vultures in india first they are referred as referred to as vultures for which they consume uh, uh, the carcasses of the animals and help in keeping the environment clean uh, second there are nine species of vulture in india so friends we have to choose that which of these statements are correct so let me tell you friends that both of these statements are correct there are nine species uh, and uh, these are also known as scavengers so they are on the top of the food chain uh, because they feed on the dead carcasses of the animals uh, so india is home to nine species of uh, vultures but most of them face danger of extinction so uh, re uh, reason is basically the diclofenac uh, the drug diclofenac which is uh, administered to the cattle uh, uh, and uh, this basically is, uh, drug is used to treat inflammation but uh, this drug is found to uh, cause uh, adverse effect on the uh, uh, vultures as well they it, the, it leads to their kidney failure or renal failure in vultures leading to their death so uh, in 1990s uh, when uh, their population declined to 19 to in fact uh, just 1% Uh, then uh, the steps were taken to address this uh, uh, scenario so <clears throat> now uh, there is a uh, to study the cause of deaths of vultures in india a vulture care center was set up at pinjor haryana in 2001 and later in 2004 the vulture care center was upgraded to being the first vulture conservation and breeding center in india so at present there are nine vulture conservation and breeding centers so main objective of the this is to is to look after the vultures and breed them in captivity and also release them into the wild so more details you can read uh, by pausing the video and next is eighth question montreal protocol and kigali agreement are related to a ozone layer depletion uh, protection b mercury pollution c ban on plastics d none of the above so let me tell you friends that the answer is a that is ozone layer protection so montreal protocol and kigali agreement they are basically uh, uh, to protect the ozone layer and uh, international day for uh, this is this was in news because yesterday uh, uh, the, this international day for preservation of uh, uh, ozone layer is observed every year on september 16 that is yesterday for the preservation of ozone layer so theme of this uh, 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 to the uh this year's uh, ozone uh, day is basically uh, 32 years and healing and significance of the day is in 1994 uh, on uh, 16 september uh, september this uh, united nation general assembly proclaimed this as uh, this day as the international day for the preservation of ozone layer commemorating the date of the signing in 1987 of the montreal protocol on substances that deplete the ozone layer so ozone layer basically absorb the sun's ultraviolet radiation so it absorbs close to 97 to 90% 99% of the ultraviolet rays so uh, this uh, uh, to prevent uh, the the de its depletion uh, the montreal protocol was taken uh, was adopted so it has multiple targets you can read about them by pausing the video so it will be uh, time consuming here to discuss all of them So uh, your ninth question is central adverse list is prepared by which ministry a home affairs b external affairs c defense d none of the above so friends the answer is a home affairs so central has removed the central adverse list names of few foreign nationals involved in anti india activities 
so this is basically this advanced list is uh, maintained by union ministry of home affairs so it contains the uh, name of individuals who supported the khalistan movement in 1980s and 1990s but left india to take asylum in foreign countries and names of those individuals who are suspected to have links with terrorist outfits or have violated visa norms in their previous visit to india and those persons who have indulged in criminal activities or have been accused of sexual crimes against children in their in their respective countries so uh, please note that this list is not just restricted to punjab or khalistan movement so uh, it is basically used by all indian missions and consulates